Sarah. Sheriff Stephen Jay here. I'm back in the world of the magical couch from the world up above. Yeah, just in time, too, for the children's corner. When I'm sitting around with my homework all done and there's nothing to do, I call all of my friends. They don't answer the phone. Where have they gone to? Well, I'm thinking and I'm thinking with the TV right in front of me when something catches my eye. Jay here, and uh, welcome to the Children's Corner. Yep, uh, just thought I'd listen to some music here and uh, relax a little bit. I love music. Matter of fact, I just got back from the Pan Institute, and that's why I'm listening to music, because they kind of gave me a hankering to listen to some music when I got back. Now, you're wondering, probably, what is the Pan Institute? Is, is it a place you buy pots and pans uh, so I can put them in our preparation area here? so we can use them to make stuff. No. A pan is a steel drum. And the Pan Institute actually teaches young men and women from elementary age up to uh, teenagers how to play the steel drums. The steel drum, or pan, is actually a skillfully hammered 55-gallon oil drum. Each pan or set of pans carries the exact chromatic range of notes so that you can produce any type of music that comes to mind. Now these steel drums were invented on an island. The island is called Trinidad, which is off the coast of Venezuela in South America. When I was at the Pan Institute, I was lucky enough to be there when the elementary school kids came in to practice the steel drums. Now a couple of them were missing, so uh, some of the high school students that were there waiting their, you know, turn to practice the drums. A couple of them filled in. And Nigel Chase, which is their director, he played the uh, regular drums that, you know, to set the uh, beat for the song. And uh, it was very good. The uh, song they played was called Kuchilala. I liked it. came in to practice the steel drums. Now they have their own band all together. It's called Planet Pan. And uh, they played a few tunes, but the one tune that really struck me was this one called, get this, Stevens Jam. Not kidding you, I'm not making this up. It's called Stevens Jam. And the only thing that would make this song better, other than it sounds great and it's very upbeat, which 
I love upbeat music, was if it was called Stephen Jay's Jam. Huh? Uh, no, it's Stephen Jay's Jam. <laughs> Ago, and still playing today. Uh, keep in mind the people have changed, but the instruments are the same, and the, the community that comprises the band are of all ages, from from young to older. It's just amazing. They just love playing music. Everything from pop to popular.
consists of a snare drum, a bass drum, wind instruments, and a horn section. It's basically the same as a marching band, but the difference between a marching band and a community band basically is a marching band marches, like uh, on a field during a sporting event or uh, down the street in, uh, in a parade. A community band, they'll just sit down. And to be honest with you, that's what I would prefer to do, be in the community band, if I could play those instruments, of course. Uh, oh, speaking of marching band, that's what I was playing when you first came in, a march. Yep, this is a march. I'm going to use my Wazoo brand new recording device here. Playback. It's amazing, the technology. Here we go. This is a march. Great song. Since I have nobody coming over today, I guess I'll have to fend for myself. So let's take a look in the old pantry cabinet here and see what we got for lunch. Uh, whoa! Mr. Dill, what are you doing in my cabinet? Uh, uh, just looking around there, Sheriff. I'm hungry. Oh, oh nice hat you got there. Oh, uh, you like it? It's my new look. Keeps my head from getting sunburned. Hey, what's going on over here? What are you guys doing to me? Hey! What is going on here? This man sold us a potion he claims to cure any health problems, and it doesn't work. He's a fraud. Oh, everybody just have a seat. Excuse me, sir, uh, that's my spot. Uh, oh, sure enough, Sheriff, sure enough. I don't feel too good, Sheriff. That potion, I think, made me sick. I gotta go. All right. Uh, now, who exactly are you, sir? You look new to these parts. Just passing through, Sheriff. 
My name is Bennett Begun, and this here sheriff is my magical medicinal cure. Fixes anything that ails you. Magical medicinal cure, you say? Yes. Well, what exactly does it fix? Nothing! They don't know anything, Sheriff. Uh, it did give me heartburn. Oh. Looks like you have some explaining to do, Professor. Well... Uh... So, you say your name is Bennett B. Gunn. What does the B stand for? Bennett. Bennett. So your first and middle name is Bennett? Well, yeah, sure. My friends call me BB. Oh. What exactly is a potion anyway? A uh, potion? Oh, I'll tell you what a potion is. That's a great word of interest. Potion. P-O-T-I-O-N. Potion. Meaning a liquid or liquid mixture, especially one that's magical, medicinal, or poisonous. Sheriff, I can assure you there's nothing poisonous in my potion. Uh, hello? I hate to interrupt such a moving conversation, but the sheriff and I were about to have lunch. Look, a talking sausage! Oh, it's green with all mold all over it. It's gross. Don't touch it. I'm no sausage. I'm a pickle. A healthy green pickle. Ah, never mind him. I was getting ready for lunch, though. But all this talk about potions, I think instead of making a big lunch, I'll just make an appetizer. And I have one in mind. My mom's favorite recipe. I loved it when I was a child. Oh, but in the meantime, i like to show you folks Planet Pan performing one of their popular songs and a song that they really love. It's called Heaven. Hey, who's he talking to? I don't know. Kind of weird. <laughs>
Professor Gunn did swindle his customers. So I had to lock him up. His uh, potion cure-all has no medicinal value. It has no magical power. And it surely isn't poisonous. All it is is sweet and sour sauce. And it doesn't surprise me that one of his customers got a tummy ache drinking this stuff straight and had to leave the house. The good news is we have sweet and sour sauce now. It's the one ingredient I did not have to make my mom's favorite recipe I loved as a child growing up. It's a spread. It's called the Slouch Sweet and Sour Avocado Cream Cheese Spread. And it's great on crackers. I have crackers right here. I have three avocados and I have eight ounces of cream cheese and I poured some of the sweet and sour sauce into this um, bowl here. And we're going to do it now. All right, so let's start. First of all, we have to prepare our avocados. So let's just cut them. And you got to be very careful with this. Of course, you know, adults usually do this. I'm going to cut these right up. All right. Okay. I'm going to cut these in half. Take out the uh, seed. And these avocados, they can get messy. And we're going to mix it with the other ingredients. And uh, you have to blend it. And I have a blender here. And you have to make it smooth. You want to make sure you don't have any lumps. I'm going to put this 8 ounces of uh, cream cheese into the mix now. And we only need a little bit of the sweet and sour. This stuff goes a long way. Okay, that's, that's plenty. And now we got to mix it all up. A blender would be a better choice. But I tried our blender. And it was giving me some problems. So I tried a fork. And the fork works really well. I got most of the lumps out here. It's looking pretty good. I also put a little dash of lime in this because an avocado is involved. And that way it won't go brown on you. That's what the little bit of lime will do. All right. Let's try this. Oh, excellent, excellent. It's a perfect ending to a perfect musical day. And we'll see you next time on the Children's Corner. Where do you go? We're gonna go to the Children's Corner. Where do you go? We're gonna go to the Children's Corner. Tell me where do you go? Go!